Hello everybody and welcome to episode 17 of the Idle Game Maker course and in this one we are going to further develop our game by implementing icons through a sprite sheet. If you are following this course you can see that I have implemented all the buildings and upgrades in my flowchart which was in the last video however at the moment they only have a name so they just serve as a template and in the future we will add plenty of wild effects to them. But what exactly is a sprite sheet? Well a sprite sheet is basically just an image that contains sprites which are arranged in a grid on tiles. We can see an example of a sprite sheet on this image right here, which is also the spreadsheet we will be using in our game for assigning icons to our upgrades. And just for clarification, a sprite is basically just a pixel art image. So inside of our sprite sheet, each one of these icons inside of the tile is a sprite. And a very important thing you must remember is that the size of sprites inside of a sprite sheet dictates the size of individual tiles. And this means that all the sprites inside of the sprite sheet need to be the exact same size. Basically make sure that each sprite fits inside of their tile. Now in all order for the sprite sheets grid to tile perfectly, sprite sheets need to have dimensions which are a multiple of the dimensions of sprites inside of them. Now for our sprite sheet here we can see that we have 6 types of upgrades with 4 for each type and they are sized 48 by 48 pixels. This means that in our sprite sheet we want to have 6 rows and 4 columns for our upgrades. That means the width of our sprite sheet will need to be 48 pixels multiplied by 4 since again we want 4 columns and the height will be 48 pixels multiplied by 6 since once again we want 6 rows. You can see that when this is done properly the grid ends at the edges of our sprite sheet. And finally let's move on to the key functionality of sprite sheets in Idle Game Maker and that is that you can locate individual sprites inside the sprite sheet using their x and y coordinates. Now for clarification coordinates begin at 0 0 so the first image in our sprite sheet would have coordinates of 0 0. The one after would have coordinates of 1 0 because it's moved one tile to the right and the one after that would have coordinates of 2 0 since it's moved two tiles to the right. And for example, this green bolt icon right here would have coordinates of 2, 3 because it's located 2 tiles to the right and 3 tiles down. And these coordinates will be very important for us because with them we can then assign icons to things in our games through a sprite sheet. Hopefully that makes sense and for my last point I'll just mention that you can use multiple sprite sheets in Idle Game Maker throughout your source file which I will also be doing because I have another sprite sheet for my building since they are a different size. Okay, now that we know what a sprite sheet is, let's create one in our game. Before we begin you should know that new sprite sheets are declared in the settings section and the handbook has a neat little template that we can use for declaring a new one. So let's just copy and paste this template and paste it inside of our settings section right here. And the first sprite sheet I want to create is the one for our upgrade icons. So let's just give this sprite sheet a name of upgrade icons and remember inside of our sprite sheet we have our icons sized 48 by 48. So we set that in here. Next up we need the URL for our sprite sheet, so let's go to filegarden or myware.io and let's upload our upgrade sprite sheet into there. And now that it's uploaded we can just copy and paste this URL right here. Alright, so now we successfully implemented one sprite sheet in our game, but I want another for our building. So once again let's go to the handbook, let's copy the template for declaring new sprite sheets and then paste it in our code. So this sprite sheet will be named building icons and remember that all the buildings in our game are sized 64 by 64. So we set that there and once again we need another URL so let's go back to file garden. Let's now upload our building sprite sheet. Okay and now that it is uploaded we can just copy and paste the URL into our code once again. Alright and this is great, now all that is left for us to do is to assign the icons inside our sprite sheets onto upgrades and buildings in our game and the way we do that is very simple. All we need to do is use the icon property then specify the name of the sprite sheet we want to assign from so in this case the name of the sprite sheet we will be using is building icons and then use the coordinates of the icon we want. So I want to assign an icon to metal detectors through the building icon sprite sheet and we can see that the icon for metal detectors is the first in line so its coordinates will be zero zero so we can just set that in our code and this is how we do it right so the name of our sprite sheet and then the coordinates so zero zero let's save our changes and let's see if it actually got applied so let's refresh here and yeah we can see that it applied very nicely so now let's just do the same thing for each building and upgrade in our game so let's just copy and paste this icon we have here and let's paste it into here now let's set the coordinates for our con artist icon so that's the next in line which means the x will be one since it's one tile to the right now let's do the same thing for our coin trees this should be to zero since it's on the second tile in our sprite sheet and so on and so forth so let's just for our main facilities do the same thing three zero 
And then let's do the same thing for our coin conglomerates, which should be 4-0. So let's save our changes and let's see how it looks now. Okay, and we can see that each one of our icons has been assigned flawlessly. Now let's just do the same thing, but for our upgrades. So let's go to our magnet upgrade and let's give it an icon from the upgrade icons sprite sheet at a position of 0, zero. Let's now save our changes and let's see if it actually worked. Yep, and we can see that the icon has been once again flawlessly assigned. Okay, now all that is left to do is just do the same thing for each upgrade, but I will probably speed this part up because it's really just the same thing over and over. So let's begin. Okay, so I have implemented all of the icons for my upgrades. Now let's save our changes and let's see how they look in our game. Okay, so we can see that all of our icons have been implemented flawlessly and our game is now finally starting to take shape. Now this would be the end of the episode, but I realized that there is a bug with our buildings and that is that in our tooltips, the icons don't fit inside of their designated box. And this appears to be a very stupid bug with Idle Game Maker because when applying larger icons without sprite sheets, this doesn't happen. I tried for hours to find a fix with CSS but unfortunately I couldn't find a solution for this and I'll unfortunately have to resort to removing the sprite sheet for our buildings and apply icons for each of our buildings manually. So let's just quickly do that so I'm gonna have to remove the sprite sheet for our building icons and apply each of our icons manually so I have already uploaded them. Let's first begin by the coin artists and we'll append it here. Then let's do the same for coin trees. Copy and paste the link into the icon property for mint factories as well. And for the coin conglomerates too. Let's just copy and paste it in here. All right, and now after we save changes, hopefully the icons should now fit up in their tooltip box. Okay, and that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I apologize for the bug we encountered. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. But with that said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really enjoy what I do here, feel free to check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description. And for only $2 a month, your name can be included in the outro of my videos. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.